Welcome to our channel. We're Andy and Joe, and we have our two fur babies, Teddy and Digby. After a few too many glasses of wine, we made the biggest life-changing impulse purchase of our lives, and we bought Vinnie the camper van. After a few short months, we did realize that we loved the adventures, but we decided we needed something a little bit larger. So we welcomed Lady B into the family. This is a vlog to share our adventures and to make memories for our future. We're off to the NEC today. Um, and he's just getting some fuel. Can you believe that it's the first sunny day this year, it feels like, at the weekend, and we're going to the NEC? <sighs> Never mind. Um, we haven't done much, well, we've been skiing, which was amazing, but um, I've had COVID and I was positive for full nine, well, nine days, so that was a bit of a disaster, and then the weather's just been utter rubbish. So we haven't really done much. So I'm excited to go to the NEC. Don't expect us to be going through loads of vans and stuff. There's loads of people that have been making some fantastic YouTube videos about all the little bits in the vans. I'm after some like other bits, pots and pans, a bowl, a, bo a sink bowl. That's, that's a must. Surely you can get one from here. I mean, where else would you go and get one? Um, what else? Oh, we want to go and look at some, um, not paddle boarding, but like a canoe, perhaps. Um, can't really see Digby standing on a paddle board. Um, so yeah, we're after some other bits. So if you want to see what else there is, obviously there's going to be vans and stuff, but I'm not going to be going through all of those and putting them on the video. Um, just head over to all the rest of them for that. Oh, seen some mohos already. Lots of mohos. Bear Grylls is here. No, he's not. He is, look. Ah. I'm not going to see Bear Grylls, though. Why not? Busy. I've got these lovely, handy little mats. Whoa. Whoa. That you can't control? No. Nope. So four, five, this one here, is down there. That there, there you go. We've got paddle boards and kayaking in there. There we go, that's number one. Cool, so the entrance is there, so yeah. It's right down the bottom. Let's do that first. Cool. Who said this wasn't sophisticated, look. We've got a nice Starbucks. just robust. I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, they're just really, yeah, solid. Rigid. Rigid. They yeah. don't look like ones that you would blow up. I mean, this has actually got, no, that can't be. That's not a blow up one, is it? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not a blow up yeah, one, is it? I don't think so. Yeah. That one is. It's got wood on it, I'm going to say. How does that fold up? They are quite big though, aren't they? Still don't think Digby would behave on something like that. No. Well, I've only seen one person that I've seen that in the so far, but um, look, the accessory mega store. This is what I am talking about. Stuff that we don't need, but we're going to buy anyway. It's pans. Pans, looks good. cooking set. Oh, that's actually, um, that's really clever actually, isn't it? Not that we cook that much and we would prefer to go out more, but yeah, we do need some more water. These are better. 
and some beer ones. Oh, they're in nice shape, look. No. Yeah, we need all this. And a better midday set, I think, could be uh, good for us. These are nice, Andy. It's got like a salad bowl with it. We've just got like bits. We need a whole set, I feel. These wine glasses, I'm actually really impressed with the shape of these wine glasses. They don't, don't look... That's a white wine glass, we need the red wine glasses and the beer glasses. excited because we wanted to have um, a beer and I wanted a gin and we ended up with uh, it's supposed to be a chicken burger but I don't think it was chicken I couldn't eat it it was really bad I don't bad. think the chicken was perfect for animal consumption <laughs> yeah that's uh, that's me doing for another 10 years and with the spoons with the spoons with the spoons it was with her with us Swift. Is it the green app or is it the blue app? 
where does the tracker fit to? So many questions. That he's been it has been burning him to ask these questions. Unfortunately, this poor bloke is very nice. He got the short end of the deal on this one. I'll let you know whether he finds out the answer to his burning questions. Go on then. What's the man say? The man said that we should isolate the laser battery by yep. pressing the black button on the um, EC600 unit, sergeant unit. Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, it's under the seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then also isolate the vehicle battery yep. um, by turning the key in the ignition there's a little red lever and that uh, it pops out or something like that, that um, and this will allow you to be charging your leisure is that right well no this no it's just to isolate the batteries but i need to find out it just says it's an idea to find out whether that will affect your tracker or anything like that i don't think it will but you need to find it out it's just more security because nothing will work it says your key fob and stuff won't work you have to do it manually when you get back when you plug in um, the ignition and start the engine with and kick back into line. Do you feel satisfied? It's a whole new world. <laughs> You're not going to sing it? No. <laughs> so that's us done. We're just on the way back to the coach now to get to the car park. Um, we've got some stuff. We'll do some unboxing in the weather, not in the box. So what did you think? It's very good. Um, if you're in the market for buying a new motorhome or caravan, it's perfect. Yes. Because there's loads there. Um, and then mornings has got more and yeah, we wanted to have a look at uh, kayaks and stuff. Well, kayaks and stuff. It wasn't that many actually. I don't know if it's going to be the right thing for us. Like, we sat in a blow up kayak. And I'll do our unbagging, the unboxing. So, um, I picked up, oops, I picked up um, the Caravan and Motorhome Club, which we are a member of, and we've just booked uh, for France in the summer. Um, and this would have been super handy, I must admit, um, because it's got all of the European campsites on there. But we've booked it all, but I'm gonna go through this and kind of plot out where we're going and just make sure I am going to the right places. So this was really, really handy. I like a book. I like a book. So um, yeah, I'm excited to go through this and I'm gonna mark all the ones that we're going to. Okay, um I bought some basics. Um as I said, we didn't we didn't we we did go in a few motorhomes um and caravans. Just uh, I've never been, believe it or not, I've never been in a caravan before. Um never. And I just wanted to know what it was like, and it's basically the same as our motorhome but without uh, van the front 
So that's that. So I'm, I'm, I've, I've managed to get that out of my system. Bought these because we hadn't got any. Um, so uh, yeah, simple stuff. Um, I think I said, oh no, I've just broken. Oh, oh well, I've just broke the thing. I think I said on the video, these look really cool. Um, but some nice red wine glasses. I do like the shape of a red wine glass. The stem could be a little bit longer. I'm happy with that. So I've got a couple of those. Um, they're quite expensive. Um, I think it was like 16 or 14 pounds for those. Um, and the dishwasher safe as well, which I looked at. Um, when we bought our um, first VW, um, I think I just got really overexcited and um, I went just to Sainsbury's and bought some um, plates and things and uh, I don't really like the, the pattern on them and um, these ones have got like the sticky bits or whatever you call it, I don't know what you call that, sticky bit, non-slip I suppose that would be, so I bought those, I bought, um, they've got them in big packs of um, 12 and there was four plates and there's only two of us so I just bought them separate um, so we didn't need, need all of that stuff and it's just more weight to, to carry around so I bought some uh, large plates, some small plates, and some bowls as well. Um, but I really like the, um, it looks really nice. Um, I like those. Uh, next, um, something that we, something that we didn't have was a fire extinguisher. Um, we didn't have one of those in the van, so we bought this. I um, spoke to the guy and he said this would be the, the best one uh, for our van size. This was £25. You may find things cheaper but we've got it now and it's one of those things that we always keep saying oh we need to get that and we just never do and while we were going around thank you Dickie, um, while we were going around I thought we might as well get it uh, also oh. Dickie, um, something that's really I can't get my head around it maybe you can uh, Wi-Fi in a motorhome I'm not quite sure how that works I did listen to one guy talking about it and he said that the Wi-Fi connector was um, four times stronger, but you'd still got to put your SIM card in, which seems a bit of a faff. Maybe I've got this wrong, but you have to put a SIM card in it and then, so you may, must have to have a different um, provider or put your SIM card from your phone. But then that just seems a bit of a faff and to do sort of like from one phone to another, but maybe it's wrong. I'm gonna have a little bit of read up on it and research. My legs were getting tired for that one. And then, as I said, we have booked to go to France. Uh, so we have booked, we've bought um, the stickers that we need. They came with some instructions as well. And some over stickers for our uh, number plate. And that's it, that's all we bought. Um, we had a really good walk around as I said, and it was a really good show and we enjoyed it. It's just nice to sort of see what else is there and just get a few ideas. The, um, oh, we did look at the A-frames as well, and it's something that we are gonna be doing. We've bought a little, um, we call it Noddy, because it's a small car. We've bought a little Noddy car, um, but the people that were there that we spoke to about the A-frames, uh, they were coming for about 3,000 uh, pounds for the A-frame. It's more than what the car cost us. So um, we are, we've had to, we have done a little bit of shopping around and we found a company that's, um, 900 and something pounds, which feels a little bit better for us. It feels a bit bit insane to put in a 3,000 pound A-frame onto a 3,000 pound car. Um, and the canoe, I'm um, not quite sure if it's what we wanted. So we might do something where we can just hire one and, and just see if it is actually the right thing for us. Again, that's a lot of money. It's nearly a thousand pounds to spend on something that we maybe use once and go, actually, no, this is not, not for us. Maybe we can find one on eBay, someone said one second hand. Um, yeah, it wasn't as quite as big as I thought it was going to be. I'm, I'm five foot eight and I've got reasonably long legs. Um, I didn't know where to put my legs. I kind of like was tucking them underneath me and I couldn't put them out and stuff. So it wasn't really, what I thought it might be. But really good show. Um, I can't now wait to get away um, over the next few weeks. And so we will see you all soon. I actually forgot one thing, sorry. We bought um, some wing mirror covers, some long arm wing mirror covers. 
Um, where did we get these from, Andy? Mel Melenko. Melenko, that was it. Um, so these ones have got them in black because that's what they've got at the minute. Um, these ones uh, were £20 off. Um, the, the, so they've got a new design, which is more like a, it's got like three ribs. Three, that's deeply. Three ribs going along it where these are sort of uh, 20, 21's design. Really don't care. Didn't think the new design was worth another um, 20 pounds. We did speak to the guy and he did say, well, the stronger plastic and yeah, these are absolutely fine. So we bought these as well and they were 40 pounds for the pair. And there's like um, little fittings inside with some cushion in there as well. So yeah, we bought them too.